for this technique is just like any other combination you would do, you would distract your opponent with the jab and you close in a distance by skipping inside and kind of do like a skipping kick, hook kick inside of his leg, behind his leg. Oh, and you're gonna reverse it. You put both hands on the floor, on the mat, you jump, you switch. So it creates that leverage takedown, okay? You have to get inside all the way with your hips close to his body, otherwise you're gonna fall off, it's not gonna work. So you jab, you come in, one, two. And right away you fall into a position where you can attack the heel hook or ankle, okay? If he keeps moving, starts moving toe hold, Okay, it's really take down, good take down. But one thing you have to keep in mind is a lot of times they, if it's a wrestling or grappling match, they lean forward, the posture changes, the stance changes, and it's hard to do in this case because most of the weight is forward, leaning, so it's gonna be difficult to do it. You can do it in a striking or MMA matches. Okay, when the posture is a little more higher, then you this technique works the best in those cases. Okay, so one more time. Okay, this technique when you're a clinch, which is also in wrestling, grappling, uh, MMA, everywhere you have this clinch inside. So we have the common technique own duck under taking it back most of the time they defend this so you don't go to the back to a dominant position so his focus is all here so what I do is I fake instead of going here I take this back leg out and I roll and get into like 50-50 position he has the same position but you have the momentum as offensive as Attacker, okay, and you switch straight to the leg lock. Think single leg, okay. So what we do is, he's expecting the takedown, finish the takedown most likely, <coughs> but we switch to uh, heel hook or ankle lock. Now the other thing is here. Instead of attacking the same leg, we go to the opposite. We switch on him, he goes off balance, and you attack the far leg. Couple small details is one of them is, you have to, when you go for this leg, you gotta raise this leg high, okay? kind of open the door to get inside and you wrap your legs around him. The other one is, the other detail is when you go here, I wanna put my shin here. Prevents him from coming in down, taking the full mark. I'm going to do a two-on-one, look away. I have good control of his arm. I'm gonna grab him behind his lat right here. Step in, hook the knee, 